In order to go mate, you had to go in a dry boat for a couple, three years. When daylight come, you had to go up to mass with the mate and captain and look for fish. You had to uh, learn how to pick out the whips and the color. Because a lot of times in the, in the process of getting everybody off the steamer into the first boats, the captain and mate would lose track of the fish. When you find a place of fish, you come down the mast and you got in your little dry boat, which is about 12 feet long, and you rowed to the place of fish. Instead of sitting down rowing, you stood up and rowed, facing the bow. That way you could see, and the first boats would come out and settle on a place of fish, and you directed them to the fish by pointing at them with your oar. And you tied your little boat to the cork line, and then you pulled corks in the boat. That way it made the net fuller, and these fish would go in the web, and then you stayed there with them corks in the boat. I practiced a year just learning how to row it. When I got the job, I could row it. When you were rowing this way, you never let your weight get forward of the point of balance. I would practice down here in front of Beaufort Fishers, and I'd just row up and down that cut.